everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hi everyone. Good evening. I hope that you can see me and can hear me clearly. We are a little bit late. Yeah, three minutes into it, but yeah, that's okay. Welcome. Sorry for the delay, but now we are here. I hope that all of you are doing great, and I hope that all of you are excited for the quiz time, right? Of course, it's your favorite quiz time. And everyone, welcome to the class. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. I can see many of you have already joined us. I'll just wait for one more minute so that all of you are here, and then we'll start our class. Yes, everyone. Hi. Good evening. I'm your teacher, Ankita, and in today's class, we will be discussing about a very, very interesting chapter. Right? Basically, we discussed about this particular two important topics. We had a discussion on the nutrition and excretion, and now we will be having a small quiz. Are you ready? Yes. Quickly give me a thumbs up. I can see so many of you here. Here, educational word, amazing educational word. Dhruv, Kritika, Rakesh, Raj. Yes, I know your name is Raj. Then Kritika, Rakesh, Parvati, Shivani, Sneha, Chaudhary. I can see you. Then Durga. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hi, Raj. I can see now the hearts over here. Very good, everyone. So it's a Menti quiz. Now I request you to go on www.menti.com. You need to open another tab, right? Open one more tab, right? www.menti.com, and then use the code which is there there on the screen, right? And I'll write. I'll just say it uh, once again. Yes, it's two eight seven six four six three five. You can help your friends also. It's two eight seven six. Four six three five. Yes, I hope that you got the code right. Very good. Two six seven six four six three five. Now you'll remember, and of course it's there on the top, right? You can see over here. Awesome. So let's quickly move ahead, and and meanwhile, all of you can quickly join. We'll be quickly having a discussion about the anthe, right? Of course, I'm sure you saw the video, and it's a very important and amazing exam that definitely. You can try it out, right? So the dates are over here of online and the online examination. Yes, you can attend. Of course, I'm sure that you will. You know, you'll have the knowledge and you'll be able to answer the questions. Yes, no worries. Then, of course, it's absolutely free. So would request you to register yourself, right? Please don't forget to register yourself. And of course, the link is there in the description box below. Moving ahead, you know this is YT thousand, right? YT first. Use this code YT first, right, everyone? And first thousand subscriber, right? The users will be able to avail this amazing offer where you'll be able to explore the amazing classes that we have. So use the code YT free. And this is our homework, right? I'm sure many of you are asking about the homework. And of course, we thought that you know, it's good that you write the answers. But we thought that uh, let's you know let's just uh, you know up lift ourselves a little bit over here, and we have this amazing format. So in the link just below the video, there will be a link of the Google form. Fill the Google form, right? Fill it, and then you have these questions. We have four questions that are listed over there, and please you can write it up. Look at the questions; they're really good. Yes, great, awesome. So with this, everyone, we are kind of on the page, and I am just waiting for all of you. Yes, the educational word. So basically, we are doing this quiz so that it's it's a kind of a quick recap. Now this is on students' demand, right? Many of you asked for this quiz. Okay, everyone. So we are over here. I will just wait for one more minute and then we'll start. Yes, I'm waiting, Kushi. All of you, everyone, quickly join. Those of you who have just joined now, the code is two say uh, sorry two eight seven six four six three five. Not an uh, uh, not an issue. Pushpa, Disha, open another tab. Right, right. The www dot menti dot com. Use the code two eight seven six four six three five. The screen is blur. Kushi, just refresh your page. Right, and of course. Um, you can see that the channel has been posting the form and, of course, the mentee code also. Great, everyone. So I can see 
Okay, you are joining. I'll just wait for one more minute and then we'll start. So 15 question, maximum of 20 minutes, right? 15 question, 15 minutes, we could have said it. But yeah, we uh, it's kind of 7, 7 now. So yeah, 7.30 is a target. Yes, can we start everyone? Let's just, just few more students over here. Done, I can see lots of thumbs up. How's the energy everyone? Awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Very good. Okay, you can quickly join. Right, the mentee. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes. Start kar dete hain. Yes, so excited and we are starting the quiz everyone. So all the best. Well, these questions will be really very easy if you know the concepts. Right. Okay, now let's get started. Here we have the first question. All the best everyone. Here we go to the first question. And let's see what we have in our store. First question, everyone. Which activity will be affected in the absence of salivary amylase in the mouth? Protein breaking down to amino acid. Starch breaking down to simple sugar. Simple sugar forming the, uh, the uh, starch. Or amino acid forming the proteins. Quickly, everyone. What will happen if there's absence of the salivary amylase in the mouth? We know that's a very important enzyme present in the mouth. We know that the digestion start, right? We know that the, the digestion start in the mouth itself and salivary amylase is present and it actually help in the breakdown of the complex sugar to the simple sugar. Yes, and very good. Please don't answer. Please do not answer in the chat. Very good, everyone. I would encourage you. Please don't write the answer. Quickly vote in the menti and not over here. 44 of you have voted for the correct answer, starch breaking down to the carb, uh, to the simple sugar. So, of course, when you talk about the carbohydrates, it's a big complex, right? And the salivary amylase, which is an enzyme, which is present in the mouth, right? Secreted by the salivary glands, which is present in the saliva. It will be helping in the breakdown of the carbohydrates to the simple sugar. Over here, we have the reaction. Or to starch into the simple sugar. Are we clear? Yes, very good. I'll not be spending much time because it's a very easy and majority of you have answered it correctly. Yes, please don't write the answer. Right, please don't write the answer in the chat. They just, we just check. I think it's done. So, I'll just quickly check. Yeah. Okay. Moving ahead to the next question, everyone. Uh, Kushi, I afraid that you'll not be able to get the PDF of this. We are running it on the different platform. So, yeah. Okay, question number two, everyone on your screen. And here you go. You will have the leaderboard after five questions. Okay, entry of the food from the stomach into the small intestine is guarded by. Okay, so the entry of the small, uh, of the food from the uh, stomach to the small intestine. Anal spincher, liver, spincher muscles. Uh, or the rectum. Yeah. It's a very easy question. Now I'm sure when we discuss about how the esophagus will be carrying the food and of course it goes down to the stomach, there are a little bit of muscular structures, I would say, that are there, right? That act as a barrier. Yes, basically they are the muscle that opens and closes like this. Very good, everyone. 37 of you have voted for the correct answer. Very, very good. Now, I hope that this is clear, right? So, if you talk about it, this is a muscle that is present over there. And this actually help. You can, you can use Pushpakarani for that. Yes. Very good, everyone. So, you got a new, uh, matlab, you, you got the answer. Right? And moving to the question number three. Okay. I hope that all of you are here with us. Right? Quick thumbs up, everyone. Because I can see uh, many of you a little bit. A little bit back. Are, are we? Are you there with me? Yes. Right. Great. Yes, I can see thumbs up flowing in the chat box now, and I know that all my bachas are there with me. And here we go to a very interesting kajukatli question. Amoeba takes in food by what? Easy peasy. Okay, taking uh, taking out stomach, ciliary movements, temporary projection of a cells of mouth. I would say easiest question, right? We have discussed it so much. Amoeba takes in the food by which by by which structure I would say over here in terms of the options we have, right? We know that there are structures that are present, right? Very quick, very good, everyone. Very good, very good, very good. Miss Clay, take your time, everyone. Take your time. 
Yes, 43 of you have voted for the correct answer. The correct answer is that muscular projections, right? Sorry, the projections, not the muscular projection. I would correct myself. They are the projections and of course we call them as a pseudopodia. So amoeba is a very, has a very irregular shape. Whenever it sees a, it sees a food, it actually have to engulf it. And for that, it actually project out these false feet that we can see over here. And we call them as the pseudopodia. Pseudo means false, right? Podia means feet. So are we clear? Very good. And over here we have the answer. Awesome. Hello. Hi. Hi, Vindhya. Hi, Aarti. Hi, Dinkar. Hi, Chitra. Yes, very good, Aarti. False feet. Okay, question number three done. Moving to question number four. Hi, SP. Hi, Pragati. Very good, Dhruv. No issues, but you know the answer now. Yes, extra play. No issues, Pushpa, but now you know the answer. Very good, Yash, Priya. It's okay, Shushant. Now we are, we are at the fourth question. You can start. Yes, Sri Krishna, I'm just... Hi, Megha. I'll just wait for one of 30 seconds. So you need to go to the www.menti.com, use the code 28764635. Please don't feel sad, you don't have to feel sad. These bohat choti quiz hai, right? What we are actually trying to do is ke, I'm sure you know the answer, right? So take your time and vote. Awesome. Moving to question number four, everyone. No shoes, Chaitanya, don't feel sorry. Welcome to the class. Priya, we are on the fifth question, sorry, fourth question. I think so, I'm sorry. Late, okay, no issues, Gauranj. Here we have a question. Find the incorrect combination, everyone. This is interesting. Urethra, urinary bladder and ureter, glomerulus, woman's capsule and tubules, blood vessels, neuron and ureter, ureter, nephron and urethra, which has an incorrect combination, incorrect combination, everyone. Incorrect combination we're talking about. All of them are a part of the excretory system. Very good. 41 of you have voted for the correct answer. Now, of course, when we look over here, majority of the parts that are mentioned are part of the excretory system, right? Urethra is a part of the excretory system, right? So over here we have all of it. Glomerulus, present in the Bowman's capsule, where of course we'll see the filtration happening, right? Then, of course, we have the nephrons, which are the structural and the functional unit of kidneys present inside the kidneys. We have renal artery, renal vein. Renal artery carries the oxygen-rich blood. Renal vein carries the carbon dioxide-rich blood. Then we have ureter that carries the urine to the bladder. Bladder will store the urine for a while. And then urethra from where the, the urine will pass out from the body. And all of it is happening in the production is happening in the kidneys. Very good. Blood vessels are not a part. Very good. Awesome. Here we go. We will have full uh, life process chapter. We'll have that also. Here we go to the question number five, everyone. And let's see. Waste product in the plants are stored as in old xylem. In options, we have vacuole, raisins, old leaf and gas. So waste product in the plants are stored, right, as in the old xylem. Specifically, we're talking about the old xylem, right? Something which is present on the bark. Right, which is the present of the trunk of a tree. Yes, I'm, I gave you a very big hint over here. Yes. Now think of where, where the vacuola present, right? Specifically, we're talking about the old xylem. And very good. 41 of you have voted for the correct answer. That is the raisins. Now raisins, of course, are the waste product in the plants. That are stored in as a raisins in the old xylem. The gluey fluid, right, that we see. Very good, it's easy. So proud of you that you know the answer and of course if you feel it's easy. And with this, we are done and over here we have the leaderboard now. Now the leaderboard is based upon the number of answers, which uh, the correct answer you gave and of course the speed. So the fastest we have is over here is the Dikshita. We have Nasira, Chota Bhi, um, Hitra, Elizabeth, Arav, Anu, Vebhi, Tejasvi and Sri Ram. Very good everyone. And those of you who are not here, don't worry, I'm sure you have your own ranks with you. The idea over here is to make sure that you know the answer, right? Even if a little bit slow, it's okay, right? Leaderboard is there, of course. But don't feel sad about it. The, the reason of this quiz is to make sure that you know the correct answer. 
Yes, very good, yes, that's a spirit. Very good. That's nice, that's nice, Akshay. No issues, Dhruv. Yes, Chaitanya. Awesome. Moving to ahead, everyone, to sixth question, right? I know that your time is really very valuable. Quiz me, you have to go on mendy.com and then you have to go and use the code 28764635. Yes, Dikshita, uh, Dikshita. Okay, the question is, major excretory products in the starfish and crabs are interesting question. Ammonia, 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 urea, uric acid and ammonic, uh, ammonia uh, acid and uh, we have the ammonic acid and the amoeba. Sorry, um, not amoeba, ammonia. Yes, quickly everyone, what is the major excretory product in the starfish and the crabs? I'm sure you remember when we had a discussion about this. We talked about it. Okay, there's a definitely, there's a lot of confusion related to this particular question, right? As we, as we can see, 17, 17 and 18. And 11 of you only have voted for the correct answer. Now, of course, we talk about it. We will see that the major excretory product in the crab is over here, like those animals, is the ammonia. Right in the starfish, we have the ammonic acid right over here. The smallest form of the protein, basically proteins will be broken down for this. And of course, in humans, we have the urea. Birds, we have the uric acid. And of course, in the spiders, and those are small, right, we have the guanine. Beautiful stars, yes. <laughs> no issues, but I'm sure now you have the correct answer. I think this, yes. Yeah, but uh, Dhruv, we didn't count uh, the uric acid in an option. Like in the terms of the combination, we didn't have it. Shushan, so guanine, right? It's a type of nitrogenous base. Yes, Shushan, I hope that it's clear. Menti code is 28764635. Very good, everyone. Yes. Yes, it's liquid. But yes, but if you look, if, no, I can't go back to these options. But in terms of both, right? So we are talking about the two animals over there. We are talking about the crab and of course we are talking about the starfish. So the combination should have both. Yes. Yeah, but in terms of uric acid, right? If, if, if you uh, talk in terms of the birds, right? If you read about them, so of course they lay eggs, right? So that has a very interesting concept uh, related to that. Yes, good. It's, it's clear. Question number seven, everyone, on your screen. And here we go. Here. Pancreatic juices contain enzymes which digest what? We're talking about the pancreatic juices, proteins and carbohydrates only, proteins and fats only, fats and carbohydrates only, or protein, fats and carbohydrates. We're talking about the pancreatic juices, so we know that in stomach we'll have the de-digestion. De then of course it will move to the small intestine, then of course it will get the secretion from the liver, which is bile, which will make the food basic. And of course, we'll see the emulsification of fats happening. Then when it moves, of course, there's a secretion of the pancreatic juices also, right? There are three important enzymes. Pancreatic amylase, lipase, and trypsin. Trypsin helps in the uh, digestion of the proteins. Lipase help in the digestion of fats. And the pancreatic amylase helps in the digestion of the carbohydrates. Very good. Very good. So yeah, majority of you have voted for the correct answer and over here we have the answer also. Yeah, you can take a screenshot if you want to. Lipase will actually help in the breakdown of the lipids into the fatty acids and glycerol. We have proteins to amino acid, right? And of course we have starch to the simple sugar. Amylase, very good. Yes, very good Akshay. Yes, we call it as an exocrine gland. Pushpakarani, yes. Awesome everyone, question number 8 on your screen. Now, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes. Glycerol is a type of like, it belongs to the same family, right? Of course, broken down to the further, to fatty acids and the fats. They'll just come together and form the bigger structure. Here we have bile is a what? Secreted by bile duct and stored in liver. Secreted by gallbladder and stored in liver. Secreted by liver and stored in the bile duct. Secreted by the uh, liver and stored in the gallbladder. Bile is what? Right? Bile is what? Yes, bile is what? Very good. 35 of you have whatever the correct answer. It is secreted by the liver and of course is stored in the gallbladder. 
right so over here we have the liver so it is made in the liver and of course it will be stored in the gallbladder and we'll be moving to the small intestine with the bile duct very good right we don't call it as an enzyme we call it as a juice right and it will be helping in the breakdown of the fats basically it will be acting on the big fat molecules globules and we'll break them into smaller ones so that the lipase enzyme can work on it yes very good here we go and we are done with this question and moving to the next question that is question number nine everyone on your screen is liver a gland yes pushpakarani it is the largest gland in the human body here we have the question number nine the correct function of the components of the pancreatic juice is trypsin digesting fat lipase digesting fat trypsin digesting amino acids or lipase digesting emulsified fats okay the correct function of the components now there will be too little bit of confusion i would say let's see if you can find the answer trypsin digesting fats lipase digesting fats trypsin digesting the amino acids or lipase digesting the emulsified fats very good now 19 of you who got confused with fats you should remember that the emulsification of fat happens in the basically with the action of the bile right and that moves into the small intestine so between as it moves into the small intestine before that there's an action of the pancreas also and the lipase enzyme will actually help in the breakdown of the emulsified fats yes are we clear very good very good yes no i'm not ignoring anyone ashish yes i hope that it's clear right breakdown of fats of course it will be there but we know that uh, the bile the bile will be breaking it down and of course we call it as an emulsification of fats now they're they're not completely digested but they have been surrounded by the bile bile salt and they're very tiny in structure yes very good everyone over here we have the answer and of course let's move to the 10th question and from there we will be able to see the leaderboard good evening everyone good evening i can see many of you have joined us right now welcome to the class and over here we have a question what is a common for the cascata ticks and the leeches what is the common between these three they all are sapro uh, saprophytes they all are autotrophs they all are parasite or none of the above yes and many of you are saying that you know i'm maybe you know i i'm not able to see your messages because it's moving really very fast i'm not ignoring any one of you you all are really very dear to me you all are my bachas so i am not ignoring anyone very good very good everyone so what is common between the cascata ticks and leeches that they leeches that, that they all are the parasite the parasitic mode of nutrition what happens we know that they will be obtaining the nutrient from the host body right so of course we have cascata which is a plant right it, it, it actually obtain the nutrient from the plant and then we have ticks round around the leeches if they are in a body they'll be uh, they'll, they'll be taking the nutrient exocrine gland are those glands that act as the uh, they will actually secrete the enzymes also and uh, also secrete the hormones yes very good yes they look like this yellow threads no issues megla welcome to the class now everyone 10th question is done and we have the leaderboard now let's see this leaderboard okay we have dikshita which is the faster than web we have web bhi chota bhi uh, shrisa nasira anu hitrat akshay tejasvi and pushpakarni very good so akshay saprophytes are those which actually uh, eat on the dead and dicky animals like fungi right so if there's organism right um, like it's dead so they will be obtain the fungi will be obtaining the nutrient from them and that's why we call them as the saprotrophs or the saprophytes right Akshay, I hope that it's clear. Good evening. Good evening. It's okay, no issue, Shushan. But it's important that you are participating. Yes, decomposers. Now we don't call them as decomposers directly, but yeah. So Aryans, our uh, saprophytes are the organism is saprotropic is a basically a mode of nutrition. That's very good, Shreesa. 
Very good, Dhruv Akshay. Awesome. Final last question, everyone. Yes, Manisha. Very good. I hope that you're enjoying this quiz. Final five questions to each one of you, right? And I hope that all of you will get the correct answer. All the best. And here we go to the last five questions here, everyone. So, carnivores have intestine, have dash intestine more than herbivores as herbivores have to digest what? Larger cellulose, larger starch, smaller cellulose or the smaller starch. So we have, we are the, the carnivores, right, which eats the meat of the other animals, have small, have small intestine, whether it's large or small. And what is the reason behind that herbivores have a certain amount of uh, intestine? Why they have? Very good, very good. So the herbivores, sorry, the carnivores have the smaller intestine, smaller intestine because they just, they just have to digest the meat. Whereas the herbivores have a very large intestine because they have to digest the cellulose, which takes a longer time. Yes, Pushpakarni, omnivores will be kind of same. Like it's not be like we, right? We don't have a larger intestine as compared to the herbivores. So 41 of you have voted for the correct answer. Yes, Shushant, I've already answered this question, but I'll answer, I'll, I'll repeat it again. So here we have it. And let's go. To the 12th question. 12th question over here and all the best to each one of you. Here we go. So stomach has dash medium, whereas small intestine has the dash medium, neutralized by what? So basic, uh, acidic, carbonate. So I'll not say you have it. All of it. So stomach has a medium. Then of course we have the smaller intestine also has a medium. So what is the reason behind it and how it how it works? Quickly everyone. Yes. Acidic. Okay. Tricky one is it Yash? Very good. Yes. So here we have the correct answer. Okay. Ha, huh, so we have these 29 and 29. Carbonates and the bicarbonates. We got confused right over here. Yes, can you, anyone can tell what are bicarbonates? Yes, can anyone can tell me what is bicarbonates? <coughs> yes. Okay. Okay, Dhruv. Yes, very good. Yes, absolutely correct. So basically when we talk about these, right? So of course the digestion process have already occurred. That's why the composition will be like this. So it's acidic, basic and of course it's the bicarbonate. Very good. Very good, very good everyone. Moving ahead to this. Next question over here we have, right? So we have the uh, stomach, of course. It has the mucus which actually protected from the from the harmful effects of the HCl acid and of course we have the acidic medium which is coming right from the stomach of course it's neutralized by the basic medium and of course by the bicarbonates that are secreted by the small intestine avocado you need to uh, go on the www.menti.com right and then of course use the code 28764635 I hope that that will be able to help you awesome are we clear with this it's okay, Pushpa. I'm sorry, I forgot your name, but yeah, you can write it again. But yeah, it's okay. We all are in a learning way, right? Don't worry about it. Of life process, Dheeraj, I would definitely, we have it over here. We will try for sure. Thank you for the suggestion. And over here, everyone, question number, sorry, I, okay. Question number 13, everyone on your screen. Yes, here we go, I think. Yeah. Bhavish, yes. Thank you for telling me your name. Bhavish, yes. Which of which is the correct equation reaction taking place in the photosynthesis? Over here we have reaction of photosynthesis. I can see that uh, you'll be able to see them if you take a, a little bit zoom of it, right? I know it's a bit a little bit difficult, but yeah, you will be able to see. I can see over here 
वेरी गुड वेरी गुड एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी दैट्स एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट वी हैव व्हाट वी हैव द वी हैव ऑक्सीजन सॉरी वी हैव द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड राइट देन वी हैव द हाइड्रोजन सॉरी वाटर H2O देन वी हैव ग्लूकोज ऑक्सीजन एंड वाटर वेरी गुड इट्स द इजीएस्ट क्वेश्चन आई वुड से C6 C सॉरी uh, 6CO2 12H2O C6 H12O6 and then of course we have 6H2O and 6O2 very good see for chemistry yes so avocado lenticels are present on the bark of a tree right and of course there is a small opening through which we will see the exchange of gases but not much very small okay avocado have answered your question okay moving ahead everyone to question number 14 Let's see if it's a easy question or if it's a typical tough question. In which phase of the photosynthesis does the carbon fixation take place? Everyone, focus over here. In which phase does does the fixation of the carbon dioxide take place? Or carbon takes place? Dark phase of photosynthesis, light phase of photosynthesis, both phases of photosynthesis, or none of the phases of photosynthesis? So we know that there are two phases of photosynthesis: light phase and dark phase. light phase is dependent on the light and dark phase is independent of the light so in light reaction or the light phase there will be some products form that will be used the dark reaction right okay it's a kind of a stair 30 19 and 10 and of course then 0 very good 30 of you have voted for the correct answer and that is absolutely correct dark phase we will be able to see the basically the fixation of the carbohydrates right the carbon sorry and from there only will be able to generate the glucose right so in dark phase or the dark reaction is a phase which uses the product of the light phase it is not dependent on the light but it uses the product of the light phase and then of course we'll have the uh, reactions it's night mode hint night mode uh, night mode we might get confused yes If you talk about in terms of the light dependent and independent, you will be able to find the answer, right? So it's a biosynthetic phase. Fixation of carbon uh, carbon takes place. Does not require light to carry the process, and of course, takes place in the stroma, right? Very good. Nice. Dark mode, night mode. You can uh, directly call it as the uh, basically the, the dark phase of the dark, dark reaction. Yes, for you. Okay. Final question, everyone, on your screen. final question yes raj yes yashaswini yes yash dhruv ruchi that's very good zaki well you can see the chlorophyll in the basically in thylakoids you'll not be able to see them but yeah they're present in the thylakoids boiling the leaf in alcohol helps too okay i'm sure you have watched the experiment shown on that to dry the leaf to remove chlorophyll to open the stomata of a leaf or to boil the leaf at a proper temperature We have discussed this in the class also about this interesting and amazing experiment. We have a whole session on the experiments, right? Yes, very good. Fifty-three of you have voted for the correct answer, and the correct answer is that to remove the chlorophyll. I'll just move aside, everyone. Quickly take a screenshot. It's a very very important um, experiment, which is usually asked in the examination. So take a screenshot of it, right? Now we know that to test the presence of the starch, we'll be using this experiment. We will take a leaf, we'll boil it on the water. Then, of course, it will be killing up the leaf, right? Will break. Then, of course, we'll be adding it in the alcohol. Of course, it will be removing the chlorophyll. Then, of course, in the cold water, we'll add it so that there's a decolorization. Just freeze it properly. Then, of course, when we add the iodine solution, it will turn blue black if there is a starch present, and if it will turn brownish if there is no starch present. we know that that the glucose will be getting stored in the leaves in the form of starch right that's why we use this okay okay thumbs up i am just moving again quickly take a screenshot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 awesome with this we are done with our quiz today and over here we have the last leaderboard Okay let's see congratulations to each one of you right i hope that you got the correct answer 
So we here we have Dikshita. She's the fastest one. Then we have Akshay. Akshay is also the fastest one. Then we have Hitra, Tejasvi, Vaishnavi, Sri Ram, Vebhi, Vebhi, Nasira, Hardik, and Tiger Baby. Interesting. Yes. Very good. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Dhruv. Oh, okay, yes. Yes, very good. Gauransh, Prashant, Pragati. Very good, Akshay. Yes, where were we? Vaibhavi, yes. Yeah, it's a short form I think you have added over here. <laughs> uh, Suman, I am, uh, I don't remember exactly what she, but I think in the month of May, we did that in between May and June. So if you search on, uh, on the channel, you'll be able to find it. Yes, Pakka. Yes, yes. Very good. Very good, everyone. So we, with this, we are done. There's a worksheet. You can find the link in the description box below. It's a form. Fill the form and answer these questions. I'll be able to see your response. Yes. And with this, I hope that you have joined the Telegram group, right? It's where we'll have a lot of fun. And the results that we promised, right? So we have, uh, we have Trisha and she got 99.8 percentage. Just the hard work, right? And of course, a little bit of support from the teachers that we have at Baiju's. And we have got you covered, everyone. And with this, hit the like button. It really means a lot. My birthday is on 12th of October. Yes, they, they just we will try. Yes. Next session tomorrow, everyone. Tomorrow we'll meet. But it's not from NT. It's for class 9th, right? Tomorrow we'll be learning about the connective tissue. So yeah, it's a very good session. Thank you for liking the video. Please hit the like button. means a lot to us, right? Share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe is important because we are just kind of growing our family and we want to reach 100k really very soon. So we need your help with that. Yes. Oh, that's nice, Roof. Same birthday. You know that uh, we share our birthday with Wolverine also. The actor who played the Wolverine, Hugh Jackman. Yes. Nice. So I have one more to say. Yes, you can, uh, you can actually uh, submit the worksheet. You'll, you just need to basically click on the form. The form will open. Then, of course, you'll be able to fill, uh, you'll be able to write the questions. That's nice. Hopefully, we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be able to party here. Matlab on, on class only, we'll have a party. 19th of December, Kushi. Nice. Very good, everyone. So I hope that you have enjoyed the session. Yes? Yes or no? Nice. So we will just stay for one, two minutes and then we'll leave. Yes, I was reading in the beginning that, you know, um, you meant, uh, you're not your mentee, your midterms are approaching. Thank you, Arti. Thank you so much. We will have more of it. Yes, we will have. Nice, Bhavish. My birthday is on 12th of October. Where will we? Tomorrow, uh, we'll have a 9th class. I think day after tomorrow, we'll have 10th class. Yeah. yeah. So, you'll be able to see on the community post, the planner that we have for the day. Very good. East cell, of course, you can see uh, under the microscope. Gauranj, it will be depending on your interest, Bachche. So, just see, just read the maths textbook, right? If you feel it, you can solve the questions. If you find it interesting, you can talk to your seniors, talk to your parents, talk to your teachers, first of all. They'll be able to help you. That's nice. Very good. Advance my happy Independence Day. Do participate. Yes. Yes, you and I love biology. Aarti will come up with that really very soon. Nice, everyone. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, yes, 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 we will be planning for that for sure. Tomorrow, I think for class 10, we don't have a class, like bio class, but yeah, we have it for the class 9th. Great, everyone. I think I would take a leave, right? Now, I'm sure that you are all very tired. It's the last class. Now, Aran, say, 
close your, uh, you know, close the YouTube. Give a little bit rest to your eyes, wash your face and have your dinner. And then we'll meet tomorrow. Before you sleep, go to sleep, just read the NCRT textbook, right? For, for, for 15 minutes. It'll be great. Okay, everyone. Bye-bye. Lots of love to each one of you. Take care of yourself. We'll meet soon. Till that time, stay happy. Love. Lots of love, everyone. Bye-bye.